Where the breathing is easy, the living is good Out in the great outdoors Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you by Warrior Boats, Vortex, Tubbo Towels, Leroy's Meats, Bartline Barrels, Magic Products, Power Sports Company, Mike's Country Meats, Baronet Blinds, Drexel Building Supply, Eskimo and the MRD Group. Ready to rock and roll to Texas, it is. Let's do it. Another adventure, I'll tell you. Lately, a lot of uh, ear miles last uh, month. Why are you walking so fast? Hey, dude, I'm excited. I've never been to Texas before. We're going on a crane hunt. You know, we can't shoot cranes in Wisconsin. I farm. There's way too many cranes. I want to get I want to get some redemption back on these critters, you know? So I'm going to pound a bunch of cranes. It got real cold in here. Yeah, I love it. Ice fishing, dude. When we come back, it'd be full of rolling ice fishing. Morning. Good. They should be ready. We're going to Flight two. Flight two. It's about 45 it. minutes. I think it's over an hour. It's an hour? It's like an hour 15. I hour think. 15. Wow. Yeah. Hey, good morning. How are you guys doing? I'm definitely a little excited about uh, going out and uh, hunting in Texas. Maybe a little bit more than just a little. Are you ready, Mr. Larry Smith? I am more than ready, Mr. Jeff Vandermorel. Oh my gosh. What is our game plan for today? Our game, plan, plan. Our game plan is a mix of cranes and dark geese. Mm. Good chunk of lesser Canada's. Mm. And uh, hopefully a few specks in there. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's show. I tell you what, like I do each and every week, we are doing something totally different. We are down in Texas doing some waterfowl hunting and actually we're gonna be hunting cranes, but today we're actually gonna be hunting cranes and geese, huh? Hey Jake, how's it going, man? You know what? Hey, we're down here with Teos Outfitters. Yep. Hey, you guys have been doing this for a while, haven't you? Yep, yeah, we've been down here. Uh, I've been down here personally for about five, six years, you know, and Shane's been running this place for about 10. So I've been in the area for a good while. And uh, yeah, for this season, you know, we've started beginning of November and uh, been running through here and just about to our Christmas break for kind of our uh, first half of the season. Okay. It's been uh, been done good for us. Hey, so let's tell everybody really how these trips work. Like how many guys you guys can usually take, you know, how much it costs, you know. There's, I mean, a, a lot of people obviously that just love waterfall hunting. Yep. And in our part of the country, waterfall hunting is over. Mm -hmm. So yes, it gives yeah. you an opportunity to obviously extend your season by coming down here and doing trips like this. Right, right. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of people, you know, the bucket list thing is to come shoot cranes and, uh, the little goose, the little Canada goose hunting is also good here, so we get people to come and do that. But, uh, but yeah, we have a private group, you know, of eight, and we do have a few mixed group slots that we kind of fill in here and there, but it's mostly private groups. And, uh, but yeah, we get them from all over, and, and uh, everybody has a good time coming out here. Right. Absolutely. Well, the nice part about you guys, too, is you guys got the lodging, right, yep. which is really nice. You guys you know have the food so i mean it all like all we did is jumped on an airplane and came down here brought our guns and our shells and that's all we really needed so it really makes it super easy yeah hey and i'll tell you what i'm very excited like always you know and the cool part too is about traveling around the country and i always say this is that it's always the experiences or something but it's the people that you meet on the journeys that i love the best so hey everybody i'll tell you what hang on to your heinies i guarantee it's going to be one of them trips
How'd it go out there, Jeff? Pretty good, man. That was a good shoot. Good mixed bag. Nice little variety pack. I didn't expect that. I thought we were coming down here to hunt cranes, and uh, it was uh, it was a very good, it was a very nice surprise to, to see the, you know, the variety, you know, the snows, the specks, the, the Canadians, and then we shot plenty of cranes. You know, what a great first day. Great guys. Everybody helped set up. Everybody helped tear down. So, you know what? Now it's time for a little bit of lunch, huh? Yeah, lunch sounds pretty good, man. The meals here have been fantastic so far. Looking forward to lunch. All right, rock and roll. We got three days down here in Texas. So, hey, everybody hang on to your heinies. Jeff, I'll tell you what, day number two, and we are hunting strictly cranes today. Not saying if a, a goose didn't come through, we went uh, level that thing, yeah. but you know what? Pretty interesting to come down here. It's, again, it's our first time ever coming to Texas. Uh, wow, it's amazing when you start looking at the open ground out here. There's a lot of land. Flat of the package. It's, it's Jesus really flat. Not safe. much for trees in this part of Texas no, either. Sir. Hey, I gotta ask you, how many years have you been guiding full time now? Um, I've been guiding since 2009 with my first guide trip. Wow, no. goes by fast. How many, it? how many kids now? Three. Three? Uh, yeah. You thinking about four? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> never rule it out, right? <laughs> That's a fact. Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody, you know what? Having fun like always. And again, thank you guys and gals for watching the show each and every week. Otherwise, again, we wouldn't be doing these things. So it's not about me, it's about you guys. And I want you guys to definitely know that. And thank you for that. Let's get some crazy. Let's do it, buddy. Kill him, front left. Nice. Kill him, front right. Take him, take him. Kill him, get, get the other one. Down low, kill him, kill him, down low. Couldn't see him. Skippy do, Skippy D. Hey, I'll tell you what, having fun in Texas, you know. I tell you, you know, the cranes are kind of, uh, they're being a little stubborn today yeah, with us, you know? Yeah, they are. So it's not one of the things where every, you know, when you're hunting anytime, any kind of animal or any kind of bird, there's no guarantees for sure. Go. Oh, nice job, guys. Woo, that was nice. Ho, 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 ho. You love it when it turns out like that. Unbelievable, them birds sucked right in. You know, it's amazing how many birds have just passed us right by today. You know, when these birds come off the roost, they got an area already picked out in their mind where they're going and that's where, what's gonna happen. But you know what? It's nice when it happens like that, when you get three birds to come in just perfect and all three of them go down. So you think it happens a lot where these birds start flying a little bit later in the day like this? In the past when we've hunted down here, that was the case. We had one one morning in particular, had a couple good flocks work early and then it was nothing for a good hour or better. Okay. And then, uh, it was actually with Sam and Sam said, we should wait. And about 20 minutes later. It was game on, huh? Yep, absolutely. Go! Nice job. Nice job. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Nice shooting. Boy, that's good shooting. Woo! That is killer. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Almost got taken out by a crane. Well, good thing literally. we're in a good metal He's blind. Literally three feet behind you. Is like he really? Right there. Oh, I knew I was in line. <laughs> I'm like. Hey everybody, it's our Leroy lunchtime and it's my favorite, no doubt. It is the sweet buck and bite. And these are venison. So if you guys got some venison left in your freezer, just always give the guide the first one. I gotta. I want to hear what you think oh. about these. I'm telling you guys right now, get whatever meat you have in is in your freezer. Get it, it to that place yep. and get these made right now. Game on, Sam says. Hey Sam, what's the deal with the whistle? Favor the whistle over a crane call. Okay. It imitates a juvenile crane. Yeah. Try him. Kill him. Try him. Lead him. Lead him. Oh, nice job! Woo! That is awesome shooting there. Whoa, that was way up there. I'll tell you what, that was teamwork all the way. It's cool when things like that work out. That was sweet. That was something.
Hey everybody, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest turkey on the planet. Hey, I'll tell you what, each and every week we try to give you guys a great tip of the week. This week we've been doing a lot of traveling the last month and a half, and this week again we had to jump on a plane, and you know, it's a big deal bringing a gun on a plane, and you want to make sure you do things the right way and have the right equipment for you, so you're ready for once you get there and you're ready for the hunt. And hey, Jeff, I'm going to have you go over this week's tip of the week. Yeah, you know, flying with a firearm is one of those things, especially if you haven't done it, it's probably the most daunting part of this trip. Yeah. It's the most intimidating, certainly. It is, for um, sure. And then when you get there, it's probably the most crucial part of your trip, too, because you need a fully functioning gun when you get there. So a couple of things to bring in your case. Um, to fly with a firearm, you need to have a locking hard case. So a locking hard case, you know, this I'd break down, have the barrel in one piece, this in another, inside. This has interior locks inside the case, you know, and carry it on your keychain. So it has to have at least two locks, at paddle least, locks. Yeah, I think for that, and then and then you also have the TSA approved lock that you could use as a padlock. Right. Um, it's one of those things you want to, you know, brush up on a little bit if you haven't done it before, but the long and the short of it is if you buy one of the like higher end cases with the inner locks, you should be okay. And then some of the stuff you want to bring with you when you get there, since you have a hard case like this, you're not going to want to travel with that with your outfitter. Right. I tell that guys to my guys in the boat all the time too, you want something softer that's going to fit in and carry. But also in a place like this where you got a lot of dust, Texas, the Dakotas, and it's stuff that gets in your gun and it'll start gumming things up pretty good. So bring yourself a gun sleeve along with. Because um, obviously yeah. you're not going to keep it in this case you're once you get here. You're not going to want to bring this out into the blind most of the time. Right. In a truck, it takes up too much room and, or you know, especially if it's in the bed of somebody okay. in the cab, you know. So have that for some protection, and then you want to bring along just your gun cleaning kit. You can pack that right in here. Um, I, you, I, would, I do not pack the ammunition typically in the, in the case with it, depending on where you're flying. I'm not sure. But legally you can. Legally you can, yes, yes. exactly. But we, we ended up shipping ours. Um, to one of the guys on the trip for this trip. But you can pack ammunition in with, just as long as the gun is unloaded and everything. And then of course you can carry your cleaning supplies with you. But these are all the things I carry with me as well. And then your choke tubes, plus your choke tube too, I just keep in this little pouch. Um, all those things I keep in my blind bag when I'm out on the boat. It saves a lot of hunts for myself and my customers. And when you're traveling, keep this stuff all in your blind bag and you can pack it all in your gun case when you hop on the plane. That's absolutely perfect. I'll tell you what, one more thing, make sure that you know when you do get to the airport, that the guns all do go to the oversized baggage. Yes, and oversized also, and baggage. And also when you arrive at your destination, it won't come out on the carousel with your regular baggage. You do have to find the oversized baggage terminal. Right, it'll come out as to well, go retrieve your it, gun. It won't come out with your other luggage. When you turn it in at a separate place, when you go to the oversized baggage to get in, and you have to pick it up in a separate place when you depart. Hey everybody, again, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Yeah. So you can't kill stone at 70, you know? Right. Kill him! Nice job. Nice job. Okay. Front left. Front left. <laughs> kill him on the left! Nice. That's good shooting. Ah! Ah! Fuck him right in. Fuck him right in. Yo, boy! I'll yeah. tell you what, Chef, yeah, that's baby. what you live for right there. When a big flock of birds comes in like that, nice. absolutely perfect. They sucked the decoy spread. It was absolutely awesome. They left the hole so the birds could come right in there, and they were right in front of everybody. And as you could see, wow, we dumped a bunch of birds on that one. Yeah, nice job. You got one there. I might have got one that time, finally. <laughs> that was a good shoot. That was yeah, nice. that's awesome. Got one that was awesome. Woo! Awesome. Take that all day. 
Hey Jeff, I'll tell you what, I've been hunting all my life waterfowl and I've never shot a speck and uh, that absolutely, I'm not 100%, I'm the one that shot this one, but I'm pretty pretty sure that somebody shot it, right? Yeah, I would and, say somebody shot it. Right? <laughs> um, definitely, uh, that is definitely going to get mounted. Is it common that specks will hang with the honkers? Yep, they'll hang out with the dark geese. They absolutely. will. That's awesome. Hey, right in the wall. I'm loving it. Cowboys! Nice shot, Jeff. Nice shot, guys. Really good shooting. Kill him down low. Nice shot. Nice shooting, guys. Hey, make sure if you guys got your venison, any venison left in the freezer, you guys take it over to Leroy's and have something good made with it. I'm gonna pass this down. Somebody got a knife? Cut her up. Good shoot, boys. I guide pretty much over 300 days a year, and the people that I bring into my boat aren't just customers and friends, they're actually family. And I always try to keep these people as comfortable as I can and safe, and I cannot think of a better product than a warrior boat. Why is their customer service so good? Because they know that you're part of their family. Come join the warrior family. Kill him, guys, down low. Nice shot, nice shoot. Kill him. Got him. Specs too. Specs too. I'm going for the specs. Oh, big spec. Take that right spec. Got him! I, got, I know I hit that right spec. I was all the way right. Hey, I got one with a band on it. I got, I got one. That's the one to the right. That was the one you were pounding on? Yeah. <laughs> Come up, shoot one goose a piece. This one goose per, one okay. goose per. That's it, it. That's it. Only one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Say it again. One goose a piece. There's some specks in the low front. In the snow too. The one snow. goose a piece. Bunch of specks on the front of the back. Kill him! Can even shoot. I'm not even. I'm not even shooting. Well, I'll tell you what. That was probably one of the best goose hunts I have ever experienced in my life, and I've been hunting for quite a long time. That was like incredible. It's not always really about the numbers, even though today it was incredible on the numbers. It's really about the people you spend time with, and just you know socializing the stories, and just to be able to see that many birds come down at the end right there was absolutely amazing to be that close to that and to, to really, again, to take that all in. Uh, it's, uh, it's overwhelming, I can tell you that much. What an amazing week we had this week. You know, a lot of it has to do, when you go on these hunts, a lot of it has to do with the conditions and the timing, which all goes hand in hand. This week we hit it right on the money. The birds were there and plentiful and our good friends over at Teos really took good care of us. We want to give special thanks to them. You know, it was pretty cool from the minute that we landed in Texas till we left. These guys took great care of us. We had great accommodations, they had great food, they had great guides. They had just, everything was set perfect for us. I would definitely recommend them. Definitely check out Teos for sure. Hey, like we do each and every week, I wanna thank all of our military men and women for the great service they have given us and continue to give us. Without them, we would not have the things and the opportunities that we have each and every day. Also wanna thank all of our firefighters and paramedics, along with all of our law enforcement agents for the great service they also give us. Hey, every week, it's very interesting how we get 
to travel around the country. And again, we would not have these opportunities if it wasn't for you guys and gals watching our show. So we also wanna thank you. Hey, remember, it is a great day to be alive. And the best part is, yes, the best part is, we're gonna see you guys again next week. And thanks for joining us.